Welcome to Race to Zero, our series of interviews discovering the world of Itachi. Today we are in Zurich at Itachi ABB Power Grid's headquarters and we are joined by Claudio Fakin, CEO of Itachi ABB Power Grids. Claudio, thank you for your time and thank you for being here with us. Thank you, thank you and very nice to meet you, Carlo. Could you introduce us to Itachi ABB Power Grids? What purpose does the company stand for? Sure. First of all, it's a, it's a joint venture that was established uh, about a year ago, 1st of July. Uh, we went live uh, 2020. And uh, since then, we've been uh, collaborating and working jointly with uh, our new majority owners, Itachi, who owns uh, 80%, and of course, uh, ABB, who owns the remaining uh, 20%. Uh, we have um, a leading position in our space, which is... Uh, the power grids, which is the energy pillar, and we will talk hopefully more about uh, that aspect. We've been uh, in this uh, space for over 130 years. Uh, we've been leading in terms of technology. We have uh, an unmatched install base, footprint, over uh, 37,000 people globally in more than 90 countries. And, and we really drive uh, collaboration with our partners, with our customers. And when it comes to our purpose, it starts by powering good for a sustainable energy future. And that's really the center of uh, what we want to drive jointly with uh, our partners. And of course, we do this with uh, pioneering technologies and digital technologies. And we want to do this as a partner of choice. We want to do this as a partner of choice for enabling a stronger, smarter, and greener energy system. That's really, in essence, what we drive and why we are here. Sustainability is a cornerstone of your strategy. How are you aligning your strategy with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals? We're well positioned to start with because our two parent uh, companies, they both have embedded sustainability and leverage the SDGs as part of their business on both sides, Itachi and ABB. And if you look at Itachi, the social innovation vision has to do a lot with also the well-being, has to do a lot also with uh, the quality of life for all. And of course, providing the quality of life uh, in harmony with nature. Uh, that's a very powerful message. And when, when it comes to then us, as we are at the center of this energy transition, and as we all know, the energy space is, has a large share of the carbon emission, we want to also commit ourselves, contribute to that sustainability uh, path. And we have just recently announced uh, also our 2030 sustainability plan that centers around SDGs and around what we defined the pillars, planet, people, peace and partnership. Claudio, there is another question that I would like to ask you, but before doing that, we have to move to one of the key manufacturing locations of Itachi ABB power grids a special plant where they uh, produce uh, gas-insulated switchgear. Tackling climate change uh, and uh, respecting our planet, protecting it, is the most relevant uh, challenge these days. And obviously the energy sector is right at the center of it. So uh, could you share with us uh, how you're working with your customers, your stakeholders, to further a carbon neutrality vision? We're looking at how do we drive ourselves and sort of walk the talk. So we ourselves want to drive that commitment. We ourselves support and motivate, engage our employees to work on the sustainability aspects. 
Then next is our customers. We look at how do we partner with our customers to help them and help the broader society to reach those ambitious goals in terms of decarbonization. And of course, it is in our purpose, technology. We want to make sure that we leverage technology, that we leverage uh, what we have been innovating for the last uh, century. And just one example is, for instance, high voltage direct current technology introduced by us over 60 years ago, and then now enables connecting or interconnecting uh, different markets, Norway to Germany, where Germany produces offshore wind, renewable energy, and Norway uh, uses that to uh, pump and use hydro, then vice versa could then be used uh, to uh, deliver to Germany. Another example is right here. We have introduced recently Econic, which is our eco-efficient portfolio that has superior performance in terms of environmental impact. And one example is us uh, shifting gears to utilize uh, gas, SSC3, or alternatives that will allow this equipment to fundamentally reduce and shift uh, the carbon footprint. What are, in your opinion, uh, the key enablers and catalysts that could accelerate the energy transition, turning vision into action? To turn vision into action, number one is that we have to acknowledge and we have to take that commitment jointly that it's about uh, addressing with purpose and with urgency all the aspects of decarbonization. And number one, of course, would be to look at how do we leverage technology, but also how do we make sure that we invest at the speed and at the scale that is needed in all the key components of this energy transition. And the one that needs most attention nowadays is the grid. So technology is there, we need financing. The next step is we need also partners, we need regulators, we need policymakers that help us in identifying innovative ways of deploying permitting, deploying regulation that allows the use of the existing technology at scale and at the speed that is needed for us to meet those ambitious targets. And last but not least, we need to make sure that we partner, that we collaborate across sectors, across geographies, across all stakeholders. We need to involve uh, policymakers, we need to involve academia, uh, we drive uh, that part very hard because innovation is at the core of who we are, but it's also needed for us to drive this transition. How is Italy positioned uh, in regards to the energy transition? What are the opportunities and the challenges from a power sector perspective in your viewpoint? I think Italy is really well positioned and it, it has an incredible opportunity to leverage the momentum the investments that Europe has committed for the recovery plan with a very strong focus on uh, decarbonizing, but a very strong focus on efficiency. And I really like the way they have addressed, uh, of course, increase renewable, that's one pillar of that plan, but also addressing efficiency, energy efficiency is an essential part of that plan. As an example, I saw that uh, in the next uh, 10 years or so, the TSO, Terna, will be investing uh, roughly $20 billion to upgrade, to extend the transmission grid that will in turn deliver decarbonization, will in turn deliver uh, carbon emission reduction. What is important for Italy, as well as for any other market and government, is to able to address in a smart way the regulatory environment the policies that support a fast deployment of the technology that today is available. That to me is the uh, roadblock, that to me is the bottleneck that needs to be addressed in Italy and in many other parts of the world. But I think uh, with collaboration, we can do it together. Lastly, to wrap up this interview, is there anything special that you would like to say to our viewers? First of all, I think we're all well aligned on what needs to be done, but we need to acknowledge this is a global challenge. And the only way for us to address it and tackle it is 
to collaborate globally across sectors, across geographies, across uh, stakeholders. That will be the key point in order for us to make it on time to decarbonize and achieving our carbon neutrality goals. Claudio Fakin, CEO of uh, Itachi ABB Power Grids, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. This is Race to Zero, our series of interviews uh, discovering the world of Itachi. Thank you for having watched us. Goodbye.